Today, folks, just a short blow up video after the introduction of the uh, new cooker box for the Aussie Volcano Chimney. Now, here's the basic chimney surrounded by the Rom Vero shelf that we released earlier this month. Now, the shelf's designed to obviously, when you're cooking food, you can keep food warm by simply placing it into a uh, metal container, say an aluminium foil tray, even a fry pan. If you get the heat up from the fire, you can actually cook beside the fire and keep food warm, or actually cook food actually in the fry pan on that. So, this tray will of course get very hot because it's in contact with the main fire body. What I want to show you is the basic function of the lower body section of the cooker box, the barbecue and grill features. Uh, here we have the lower body section as you can see. I'll just spin it around and you can see the drop-in tube. That actually inserts into the top of the chimney and that secures it so it can spin around and it won't fall off. Has a handy, as you can see, edge there to hold hot plates in place and grill so they won't come off. I'll put that on. you have the lower body of the cooker box. Now what that enables you to do is you can actually put a barbecue hot plate on there or a grill. Now we invented this uh, radiator grill and what that is it's got a central grill down the centre as you can see and two long strips of hot plate. That allows the fire to still operate and grease so that the ventilation and the heat is coming out through the vented grill and you can simply drop that on top welded ledge around the top inside there to secure that tray. Now there's plenty of room around that tray because that wood is designed to go over that barbecue tray or the grill. So you can use either the grill as you can see here. Now this is the Excel plate version. We have a full stainless steel version if you prefer stainless steel as well. And also, also of course you use a full grill. So put a grill on and you can actually have large grill section. There's the area by the way so you can actually see how big it is. Like I said before, you don't have to stand in front of the fire. You can move it around to suit where you like. Two handed on there, you to spin it around. Of course this will still get hot so you'll need gloves or you can use the molding tool and simply pull it around like such. You can also put an open rotisserie on this as well so you don't have to actually have the hood as I showed in the earlier video over the top of the rotisserie. You can actually have the rotisserie exposed. Simply put the uh, brackets on. Exactly the same principle as the wedge pipe. Motor extension arm is thrown out. And then I'll spin it round rather than walk around. And put the other receiving rotisserie bracket on. So it's a mirror image, it doesn't matter which side. By the way, that wasn't properly inserted. You need to actually drop that slot completely in. Once that's down in there, it'll just flop around, but it will not come out. There's your motor. That simply slots on. Spin that around. Doesn't matter which side. You can put the motor on either side because it is, as I said, a mirror image. Take the one-piece rotisserie shaft, engage it into the square drive, set the spacer, and there you go. You have an open rotisserie over the grill on top of the Aussie Volcano chimney. That's the basic lower section. You can of course put fry pans, bellies, and you can still have a small rotisserie tray, or you can have fry pans and smaller cooking items on that grill as well, or just use a straight out grill. Of course when the food's been cooked, simply rest it down on the sombrero shelf and up against the fire. Uh, a bit of foil over the top or you can just move it around because this will, as I said, get quite hot and you can keep your food warm as well so you can be barbecuing away. The sombrero shop has, um, by the way, this whole chimney is on a deck trolley so it weighs well over 100 kilos this out here and I'm just moving that around. Just a minute and a half. Very, very handy if you want to reposition it or store it away somewhere else on your deck. Well, there you go folks, that's the cooker box lower level body, just explaining a bit about the rotisserie, the barbecue plate and the grill. So we'll have some more videos and do some demonstrating cooking over the next few weeks. So thanks for viewing folks, cheers. Awesome, awesome.